Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai, and my name is Sam, and today we're back playing Rolla Hex. Like I said, you guys know the drill. I always say, you know, I just, do, 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 okay, I'll stop. Um, anyways, uh, we're gonna go, um, onto this mission, I think. Difficulty level 49, defend for 25 minutes, uh, let's go for it. And, oh, we got the Hex Shard to, st uh, to start off with. Okay. Let's take it. Let's take it. Oh, wait, no. If we take the Hex Shard, then we get a different thing. That's right. Yeah, it's fine. Let's see if we can get a... Uh... Because... Uh... Yeah, I... Mm... I don't know, let's see. I guess, let's, let's see, let's see. I mean, I could go for... Should I go for a machine gun? Let's try machine gun this time. Let's try the... The missile launchers with, uh... The machine guns this time. Let's see how it goes. I'm honestly not too sure how it will how it will do. But I'm hoping it will it will go good. Okay. Let's just merge it. Um is this not It's just not hitting them. Is it supposed to be hitting? Like, I don't know why- why is it shooting so far away? I am so confused. Like, what is... What am I missing about this? Why is it doing this? Oh, that's the wrong thing, oops. Kills out, out with a just explode. Kills create vortexes. Go with lower cooldown. Go with resources. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I definitely want to cover this thing in, uh... I'm very confused why this is not going the way that I expected it to. <clears throat> I'm hoping it will start going a little bit better, eventually. Uh, we'll go for projectile speed, why not? I mean, I feel like this should do well eventually, right? Like, as the damage increases, things like that, I feel like it should start doing quite well. I'm just very confused why it's acting the way it is. Like, why is it... Okay. Whatever. We'll just... We'll deal with it, and we'll figure out what's wrong with it later, I guess. Because I'm very confused. As to why it's acting this way. Go for more attack speed... 
Go for that. Go for more damage on kill. Go for more attack speed, because why not? Upgrades per minute? Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Like I said, we just kind of want to surround this thing in defenses. Is it the project- is projectile speed causing problems now? Cause like... I am so confused. Like, was it actually a bad thing to increase it? I just don't understand why the projectiles are not immediately hitting them. I'm just gonna increase the attack speed by a ton. Cause yeah, it's going all the way out here and hitting things. Which I mean isn't a bad thing, but it's like, I don't need things, I need things close to the base destroyed. I don't think, I don't need things like miles and miles away from us to get destroyed. I need things immediately close by. I need those things to get destroyed. Oh my gosh. Go for more damage on kill, though. I mean, I guess he's at least still destroying... He's still, like, destroying huge groups of enemies fairly quickly and doing very well, but, you know, I was... I was hoping it would actually target enemies a little bit closer. Eh, yeah, whatever, I guess. Can't be too picky, I guess, about which with, with how the defenses work. But yeah, look how far it's going. It's attacking things all the way out here. Like, those are definitely not the enemies that I need destroyed right now. Oh my gosh, but it's... Oh, what if it discovers... The King Lurker? That's... Okay, that actually has me a little concerned that it might end up just... Discovering the King Lurker at, at some point. Okay, hopefully it should be okay. It'd be nice to like get to this area though. Especially here, my gosh, that's got a lot of stuff right there. Man, it's also like the range isn't very long, but it's just like, it just destroys everything. Where are all the enemies? What is this thing? Enemies are like non-existent right now. So confused. Hey, what even is this? I'm very confused what this is meant to be. I don't know if it's even like really worth defending. Not really. It's just a normal cannon. Which I mean, I wouldn't really say that's like really worth defending. And of course barriers are starting, or yeah, the barriers are starting to 
develop on it. Like, it's really just trying to defend this cannon right here. I mean, that cannon's really going to town. I'm gonna, I'm, like... This cannon is... It's doing well. It's doing well at defending. I just don't understand where all the enemies are. Enemies are just, like, non-existent right now. I'm gonna try to build over to here, though. Yeah, like, all the enemies are just nowhere to be found. Like, what is happening? What is this thing? A flamethrower? Oh, no. Well, found out where... Found out where King Lurker is. Definitely not very happy about that one. What is this thing? A Tesla Tower? Oh, there goes this thing. Yeah, King Lurker, you don't want to mess with me, especially when my units eventually get close to you. Or my... My projectiles. Eventually they'll get close. Oh, it's, it's so, oh, that thing is, I mean, I feel like it's strong, I feel like it's definitely stronger than, like, than the other thing. I'm hoping that this setup does okay. I guess we'll find out, but I'm hoping for the best on this one. I really am. Because things are not looking too great right now, but it's mainly because of those guys there. But yeah, if they can start destroying things, I think we'll be in a good position. 
And they're considered isolated towers, so... Damage and explosion size, I think that'll be good. Now things should start ramping up a bit, especially with these guys here. Let's go for more damage on kill. I'm hoping things are going to start ramping up at least. There's obviously no guarantee that enemies won't ramp up faster than my guys will. Which is obviously a pretty big concern. Especially these guys. I think these guys are going to be the biggest issue, the biggest problem. Go for more damage on kill. I think damage on kill is going to be the the best thing for me right now. Especially for these guys. Yeah, these 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 big spheres are quite the issue to deal with. Especially large groups of them. Yeah. Things like this have me quite... Quite nervous. Uh, maybe increase the barrier. Maybe that would help. I'm gonna try... Okay. That's not doing anything. Never mind. Okay. Okay, for like the 50th time, let's actually, um, let's actually complete this level. Oh, wait, we need to gather two coordinators. Okay, we need to go down this way and down this way. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Every 7.5 seconds, okay. Come on, go missile launchers, you can do it! Yeah, see, even with the littler guys, it's like... Even if they don't immediately hit, they, they still are like, they... Like, they obviously circle back around and then hit, but even if the projectile goes, like, dead on, it's like, it still hits them. So it's like, it didn't make any sense why the projectiles would, were going through enemies. I didn't, that didn't make any sense to me. Okay, that was a bad spot for that guy, but it's fine. Go for more damage. Why not? Damage on kill right now would be really good. There's, uh, there's a few upgrades that would actually be really good right now. Attack speed is, is always going to be good. More attack speed, why not? Let's destroy that thing. Oh, and here come these guys. More attack speed. Because why not? Put that guy there. Yeah, damage on kill, there we go. Go barrier recharge, increase that. See, I have no idea if projectile speed is actually good or not for for these guys. Cause I'm thinking it would be, right? Like, cause like they shoot out and then they come back faster, but it also kind of seems like they shoot out further from them when you have in, an increased projectile speed. So I'm, 
I'm very confused which one is which one is better. All I know is I definitely want to try to make it to those coordinators as fast as I can before things get a little too crazy. But like right now, like things right now are very slow. That's why I would love a fast forward button in this game. Because things do oftentimes go very slowly. Kills lower cooldown. Yeah, we'll go with that. So when we get things that like have a cooldown, then that'll be really nice for that. So yeah, if I increase the projectile speed, I'm not entirely sure how helpful that'll actually end up being. I hope that would help out a good amount. Or I'd at least hope it would. But again, no idea if it actually would be as helpful as I think it will be. Just want to get down here. Just want to get down to here. But yeah, everything, it's going so slow. Honestly, I might start going towards the water just so I can get some sharks. You know what? I'm not entirely against the idea of sharks right now. More damage on kill, more auto build. Like if I put a guy, if I, I'll probably put a shield, if anything. I think a shield would probably be good. Area range is really good. All of these are really good. Um, uh, barrier range upgrade options. Damage explosion. Go for damage explosion. Yeah, we'll put that guy in the water. Go for more projectile speed. So we've built out into the water. Yep, here come the sharks. So at least we can start getting some more enemies coming this direction. Because yeah, things are going very slow right now and I don't like how slow it is. So I'm wanting some more enemies to spawn in. What can I do? What can I do? Also, in case anyone's curious why I'm spacing out my tower so much, it 
strictly is just for the sake of if I do get the one upgrade where it increases the damage of isolated towers, then things will be isolated and they'll they'll benefit from the buff. Otherwise, I could put towers closer together, like you know, like the the turrets and stuff, but. But yeah, that's just why I have these guys so far apart. Oh my gosh, there's so many different coordinators I could go towards. I mean, at least I have options. I have options, okay. Well, that just destroyed all of those guys, okay. I mean, I could just build all the way down to here. And have like... Let's put a missile launcher down here. With a barrier. Increase the integrity a bit. I have another missile launcher. Just to know off... Uh, just in the off chance that this area does get attacked. Probably could have built it further. We are going to have to cross the water here though, which is going to be a little... A little scary. Shouldn't be too big of a problem though. Hopefully. Oh, wow. Wish I could merge that. I wonder what happens if you merge the... Um... The barrier generators. I wonder what that looks like. I might, I might try that. I might try that. Alright, whenever I get the opportunity again, I'll, I'll try that out. really increase the attack speed of these guys. Go with supply drop. Go for damage on kill. This is actually a very strong setup so far. Like, I'm actually very surprised with how well things are going right now. Now sharks should start heading this way, it looks like. Let me at least protect those areas, though. Because I now have two locations that are in the water. So... I would at least think sharks would start showing up here. Yep. So sharks are now showing up in two locations. Which not, might not be great for down here because this area is a little bit weaker. But it should still be okay. I think. I hope. I at least am expecting it to be okay. But that is, that is or those are very high expectations to be having right now.
Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's reduce the building cost. This building cost would be really nice. Um, do I want Frenzy? I'm not sure what Frenzy really does. I think I would rather this. Yeah, we'll go with Frenzy. We'll try it out. We'll see what happens. See if it's if see if it's a, as effective as I if I as I hope it will be. Is it not an ability that gets auto used? Maybe you have to set where it gets auto used, and then it'll start auto using it in that area. It's kind of what I'm hoping for. Nope. Still does not get auto used. Which kinda sucks, kinda doesn't. I don't know. Go for more experience. Gosh, yeah. Big guys right there have me a little, have me quite concerned. Oh, we're good, okay. We were fine. Nothing to worry about. Jeez, yeah, they are starting to get absolutely demolished. I'm actually quite surprised right now how strong our setup is. Oh, I still don't know what this thing does. Saw it last time, but I don't. I never really got to see what exactly it does. If I destroy it, hopefully it'll give me something good. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, wow. That was very worrisome. Okay, these yeah, these areas are starting to get a little worrisome. More damage on kill? What did that do? Did that do anything at all? Probably not. Oh, those guys were just trying to Come in and destroy everything. Wow, I'm surprised that guy survived. Wow. That is very impressive. Come on, come online, and we got it. Nice. You know what? Let's re-roll. We can survive. Probably not, actually, but... We'll do our best to survive. Okay. This might have been a mistake. This was a very big mistake. Especially if this guy over here falls, then... Okay. Yeah, y'all are gonna really need to destroy that guy. Okay. Okay. 
Bro. What is with the enemies just suddenly, like, ramping up their attacks? It's like, enemies are so much stronger now. What happened? I should not have re-rolled. Re-rolling was a bad idea. Since when did enemies just become like a thousand times stronger? Especially the ranged guys, they just like, come in, not a care in the world, and will just decimate your entire... everything. Just straight up everything. They will destroy everything. And the sharks are healing now, they can heal themselves somehow, some way. They've learned how to heal. Like, this setup up here, I had higher hopes for. But now it's starting to fall apart as well, kind of? Okay. Mainly only when there's like a shark coming in, that's when things start falling apart. Or multiple sharks, apparently. I'm just going to start just piling on um, barrier generators to hopefully help defend. Why? Why are there... I don't understand how these guys get onto land. Also, why is their attack speed... Like, their attack speed seems horrible. Like, the missile launchers? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but it just feels like it's really slow. Like, even with all the increased attack speed modifiers, it still just feels really, really slow. Like I said, maybe it's just me, but... Increase the projectile speed. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Because it just seems like as soon as an enemy gets by, it's like it takes so long for the, project for the missile launchers to actually do anything. Also, I have so many upgrades for the supply drop but it doesn't really seem like it's doing anything. Oh, it just, re it just increases the resources you get from it. Oh, okay, that makes more sense then. I mean, it kind of sucks, but I guess it, it at least means that the upgrades aren't completely useless. Um, we'll go for more damage and knockback. I think that'll be good. That should hopefully help. That should actually help quite a bit, I think. That's bad. Go for more attack speed. Yeah, I think the knockback uh, should become quite noticeable eventually. Okay, except for against bigger guys, apparently. Apparently, against big enemies, it's just it just doesn't do anything at all. Yeah, see, like, where's the knockback? These guys are just coming in, and they're just hitting us. And the knockback is, like, no, And there's no knockback here, either? Like, where's the knockback? Where's the knockback at? Someone tell me, where, where in the world is this knockback supposed to be? Oh my gosh, gathering these coordinators is going to be... Oh, it's going to be a pain. Because I need to go, like, over here. <sighs> uh, 
I don't think this, I don't think I'm gonna make it with this setup. I really don't. I can barely, yeah, look at that. I'm telling you, where is the knockback? Please. Someone tell me where in the world this knockback is meant to be, because I'm not seeing it. But yeah, these guys are just coming in and destroying everything. Gosh, okay. I need to go quick then. Oh, the lag. Oh, yeah. This whole this whole setup is. I think it's a. It's over. I think this is pretty much all over at this point. Because they're destroying the coordinators. I can't get to. I mean, yeah. I mean, at least I keep the uh, the equipment I already acquired, but. That was a rough one at the end. That was a pretty rough one at the end. I don't think I... I wasn't making it very far, especially with how strong enemies were getting and the game starting to lag and things like that. I wasn't going to make it very far. But still got to uh, keep some of the equipment I acquired, so I'll take it. I'm happy with that. Anyways, my name's Sam. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It mean the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.